John in Guernsey in the Channel Islands, which I think is somewhere out in the UK. Sounds like a pretty cool place. Hey, Paul, I love the videos in your charming way. Oh, charming. Oh, thank you. <laughs> of answering complicated questions. My question to you is a simple one. Uh, knowing you've been developing your own speakers for some time, does the R&D put into creating the end product, in this particular case speakers, justify the difference in price when an end product components are counted in the cost? The quick answer is no, but it depends on your company. This FR30, we've probably invested half a million, three quarters of a million dollars over the last how many years to get this to this point right now. Now, a lot of companies would say, all right, let's just use a million bucks for easy math. We've invested a million dollars into this product and we plan on selling 10,000 pairs. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> There's no way we would sell that many. 2,000 pairs. Let's make it 1,000 pair, okay? So if you have 1,000 pair of speakers, there's a cost to building this speaker. And now if we're going to take a million dollars and divide it by 1,000, then I have to add 1,000 dollars, because 1,000 thousand is a million, right? Yeah. I have to add 1,000 dollars to every single speaker so every time you buy it, that, that first thousand uh, of whatever I'm going to sell it to you for is going to go to me to pay back that million dollars that the company spent on designing this thing. Okay? We don't do that. Never have. I doubt we ever will. I'll give you another example. Octave. We're coming up with our own server program that we have worked on now for the last six years. Six years of multiple programmers. I don't even want to tell you how much we have invested. It's a lot more than we invested in this. And we're going to be selling those for a couple of grand, where this one sells for like 20, 30 grand, right? It just doesn't work for, it's way too complicated. This, is, this all goes back to return on investment. If you're a fancy uh, numbers guy, you say, well, the ROI on this, which stands for return on investment. I ain't no fancy financial guy. I get it, but I'm, it's too complicated for me. We have a certain amount of overhead. We spend about a million and a half dollars a year on engineering. And then we spend, I don't know how much on, I mean, payroll is by far our biggest expense here and and then parts and all that okay so it's a lot easier for us to say all right we just need to have a certain level of sales in order to support this level of overhead and we hope that we'll churn out enough products that will sell to make that happen so when you buy a ps product whether it's this pair of speakers or an amplifier or whatever it is you buy you are paying a price that reflects what it costs us to build it and not what it cost us to design it. So, can't put it any clearer than that. All right. Thanks. Enjoy those Guernseys out there. Must be a lot of cows running around. <laughs> Thanks. I'll talk to you later.